While a lot of people across the country, I would say most, are going to take time out to enjoy the once or almost once in a lifetime solar eclipse, a Sarasota group of middle schoolers will be documenting history. News Channel 8's Anthony Allred showing us now how those students over at St. Martha Catholic School will be taking data for NASA. The students at St. Martha Catholic School are doing more than watching the solar eclipse. They're gathering data for NASA. It'll be really cool because it's kind of like also fun to brag about it. <laughs> like, oh, we get to collect data for NASA and you don't. We can already upload all of our data to GLOBE to go to NASA as it stands right now. Infrared thermometers, solar sunglasses, and a great attitude are just a couple of things students will need to document the great solar eclipse. Well, there hasn't been one in America since almost 100 years, and this is sort of rare, so I'm really excited to see it. This is contributing in a really meaningful way. This is something that we do right here at Little St. Martha's Catholic School, but it has an impact on a global level. Marianne Kiger is the seventh and eighth grade science teacher. She's been planning for her students to see the eclipse for a couple of months now. So this summer, uh, Myself and our assistant principal decided to chase down all the glasses we could for every one of the students, and we would be a real part of that rather than just say, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. And right behind the school, these junior citizen scientists are squaring off an area they'll use to collect data before, during, and after the eclipse. Where I'm from, they're not doing really anything for the eclipse. They're just sort of just watching it. And it's really cool that we actually get to experience and collect data for NASA, and so it should be really fun. I've heard that, like, birds tend to chirp less or something like that, and it gets quiet, but I'd like to experience it. The solar eclipse will only last for about two minutes, but the data these kids collect will last a lifetime. In Sarasota, Anthony Allred, News Channel 8.